Good evening. The Scottish Government's expressed rising concern about the number of coronavirus cases in Dundee and Lanarkshire at today's coronavirus briefing. At the same time, the BBC's seen a letter this afternoon from the government to the Council's umbrella organisation, COSLA, suggesting both areas have been under consideration for increased levels of restriction. Well, our political correspondent, Lindsay Bewes, is with me now. Lindsay, you've seen the letter. Um, what can you tell us? Well, Laura, last week NHS Lanarkshire said it was treating more patients in hospital now than it had been at the height of the first wave of the pandemic. And now this letter says that both North and South Lanarkshire councils are being considered for level four. That's the highest level of restrictions closest to lockdown. But the letter also points out that there are signs in the latest data that the situation in those areas is starting to stabilise. It says ministers won't make any final decision on what level to set in those two council areas until the latest possible moment because of that. Now it also says that, it, that no other change is being considered for the central belt and if that remains the case that would see the central belt go into level three in those restrictions and that includes Edinburgh and East Lothian where the picture is starting to improve. And there are concerns about Dundee too. Rising cases in Dundee mean it's being considered for level three restrictions as well. Andrew Anderson has been looking at the picture there. You can still have a pint in Dundee as long as you're outdoors, but could these be among the last poured in the city for a while? Coronavirus cases in Tayside are on the rise. The numbers are not good. 60 new cases across the NHS Tayside area in the last 24 hours. But big differences across the region. In the last seven days, cases in the Angus area have averaged around 51 per 100,000 people. In Perth and Kinross, it's nearly 62 per 100,000. In Dundee, though, it's much higher, 178 per 100,000. Dundee City does concern us. The T NHS Tayside Health Board has 60 cases today. It's been around that level for a few days now, but they are concentrated in Dundee City. Locally, the public health team and nationally remain concerned about Dundee. The government's new five-tier system of COVID restrictions comes into place a week today. If cases here continue to rise, it may be that Dundee faces similar restrictions to those already in place in the likes of Glasgow and Edinburgh. In much of the central belt, pubs and restaurants had to close more than two weeks ago. All non-essential travel in and out of the areas with the tougher restrictions not allowed. How would all that go down in Dundee? Nicola Sturgeon said at lunchtime, she said it's not looking good for Dundee, but we'll have to wait and see. And it's so many restrictions, it's hard to kind of keep up with them, to be honest with me. And a lot of them don't make sense, to be honest with me, no, no. And another indication of the concern about rising cases in Tayside is the decision to limit hospital visiting from today. The Health Board has suspended regular visiting at Nine Wells in Dundee, Perth Royal Infirmary and Stracathro Hospital near Brechin. The whole of Tayside will be watching the COVID numbers carefully in the coming days, hoping the rate of increase slows and tougher restrictions can be avoided. Andrew Anderson, reporting Scotland, Dundee. Well, that's the reaction in Dundee, Lindsay, but what have the Scottish Government had to say tonight? Well, the Scottish Government have said that no decisions have been taken yet and that any speculation is premature. Now, the Scottish Parliament is due to debate the new tiered system tomorrow. Meanwhile, discussions are continuing between the government and councils with a final decision to be taken later this week on the initial levels to be set in different areas of Scotland ahead of that coming into place next week. OK, Lindsay, for the moment, thank you.